Hey everyone, April Dunham here. If you caught my previous video, we talked about some of the new AI Builder functionality, specifically the business card reader. Today, I want to show you the object detection AI Builder functionality. We'll talk about how to set that up and show a simple use case. But first, here's the intro. All right, so if you haven't heard of the new AI Builder in the object detection, don't worry. It's pretty new, um, just released functionality here. So if you wanna just learn more about it in general, go to the docs at Microsoft site and look at the release notes for this functionality first. It's pretty simple, just a few steps to get it started. The first thing you're gonna have to do if we jump over to Power Apps is set up a common data service entity that holds the items that you want to detect. So yes, this, uh, the object detection specifically, um, among some of the others, are dependent on having the common data service. So yes, you will need a Power Apps Plan 1, um, at least, or Plan 2 to use this. So in your Power Apps portal, if you go to your data and entities, you'll see here that I created an entity called Swag. So the goal of, of my app, I want to detect some of these swag for my inventory so I can keep track of all the swag that I have. So I created an entity called Swag. If we go into that entity, you'll see um, I just have some name and quantities and all of that. If we look at the data, I've already populated it with some data that in objects that I want to detect. So I have some flow shirts, OneDrive socks, some Power Addicts buttons, and Power Addicts shirt, and SharePoint socks. So I want to train the model to detect each of these items so that I can add them to my inventory. So once you get the entity set up, now you need to build out your model. I'm not going to walk in this video through setting up an entity for CDS. I'm sure there's all kinds of other great videos and documentation out there that you can watch to see how to do that. So in your Power Apps portal, you should see this new option for AI Builder. So if we click on Build, you'll see a few options here. The one that I'm talking about today is the object detection. So if you click on that, this will actually set you up to create a new object detection model. You can click on examples and it'll show you how this is gonna work. So for this particular example, you scan a picture of a, some tea and you tag what it is. So this is mint tea, that's cinnamon, that's rose tea. So to get started, you'll give your model a name and click create. Now this is where the CDS piece comes in. You're going to need to select object names. So you're going to click that and it'll populate a list of your entities in the common data service. So I have one called swag. So I'm gonna select that and then select the field in your entity that has the names of your items. So that in my case, it's the name field. So click select field. So as you see, this populates a list of all of the inventory items that I have in that entity. So you start with one and you upload images and train it to detect that particular object. Now I've actually already did this for the Power Addicts button. So if we click Power Addicts button, we're telling it this is the object we wanna to train to detect and then click next. Now we have to add images for it to analyze and detect. Notice you need at least 15 images for this to really work. It won't let you proceed unless you have at least 15 images. And there are some requirements for the images. They need to be JPEG, PNG, or BMP, and they can only be up to six meg. So when you're, when you're getting your images ready, make sure you're aware of those requirements. So to get started, click Add Images and start uploading images of your item that you wanna train. So in my case, it's Power Addicts buttons. So I'm going to start uploading some of those. Click Open. It'll give you a preview of the image. Upload those. And then go to Tag Images, and you actually select in a boundary box the image that you wanna detect. So I'm gonna select this button here and then tag that that's a Power Addicts button. And just repeat the process for all the images that you upload. So you see, even this one's a little tricky because the buttons are in a bag. So I can try to select multiple of those buttons from the bag for it to detect. 
And you'll just repeat this process for all of the at least 15 items that you upload here, tagging it with the object that it is. When you're done, you'll see an option to train the model. So that's going to start the process, train it. When, you're, when it's done training, it could take you know quite a while, depending on how many pictures that you uploaded initially. But it'll finish, and then you can run a test and publish it out. And once you publish it, it's ready to use. Now, I've already did this process, so let's go back to the Power Apps here. So under AI Builder, if you click on Models, that's where your models that you've already built will show. So you see that swag test is in a draft mode. I can go back at any time and finish that. But I already have a swag detector model built. You can see that it's live, and I can see the time it was last trained, who created it, and what type of model this is. So I can actually go into this and view the details, and I can see the details of my model here. I can even run a quick test just to make sure it's working right. So I can upload a Power Addicts button image. I believe that's... Daniel Christian and his Power Apps 911 shirt from the Embass conference here, which sporting his Power Apps button. But you see, it was able to find the button amidst all of the stuff in the picture with 98% confidence. So always test before you start trying to use this in your apps. And notice from the screen, there's even a shortcut to create an app. So if you want to start using this model, this will open up the Power Apps Maker portal and you can create a new app right from there. I've already started doing that. I have my Swag Manager 5000 app here. So on the left, I just have a gallery that points to my inventory list. Then for the object detector, if you want to start using that, you're going to go to Insert, AI Builder, and insert one of those object detector components. And it looks like this here. When you initially set that up, you just tell it which model to use. So if you have multiple object detection models, they would show up here and you would select the one that you want it to use from the list. So I have my object detection here and I just have some labels and the text of these. I'm getting the count of objects because you can take a picture and I could have say three Power Addicts buttons and it will do a count and find all the buttons in that picture. So to get that count, just use a first pass in your object detector get the vision objects, and then get the count from that. Then to tell what object was detected, I have another label, and its value is the object detector vision objects display name. So what I want to do is scan the object, get how many there are, and update my inventory. So I have an add inventory button here, and I just have a patch statement where I'm writing back to my inventory list getting the item, updating the quantity with the quantity taken from the object detection, and refreshing the database. So let's see how this all comes together. So I'm going to run my app. You just click on the object detection image there, open an image. So you see I have three Power Addicts buttons there. Let's see if the object detection finds all of those. All right, so this is a good learning case. You see how I said that there's five, but only three buttons are actually there. So this is just a case of needing to train the model more. I put the bare minimum in this case, only 15. If I were to go in and add, say, at least 50, which is about probably best practice, these results would just keep getting better. So let's give it another try with a different image. It doesn't have as much stuff in the background. And there you go, that worked as expected. Three Power Addicts buttons there detected. I click Add to Inventory. It's going to update the quantity for the Power Addicts button to five. So I hope this video was a good intro to the new object detection capabilities in Power Apps. This was just a simple use case of what you can do with the new functionality. I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys come up with. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Mm -hmm.